Today we're going to be looking at how to find a common denominator. And the strategy that we're going to be exploring is multiplying the denominators in order to find a common denominator. So here we can see that we have one quarter plus one half. And in order to find a common denominator, we're going to go ahead and multiply four times two. And we know that four times two gives us eight. So our new denominator written down below is going to be eight for both of the fractions. So in order for me to get eight for the first fraction, I had to multiply four times two. And to keep things equivalent, I need to make sure that I multiply the numerator as well, two by the same value. So one times two gives me two. And next we need to go ahead and convert the numerator in the second fraction. So in order for me to get eight, I needed to multiply two times four. So I need to go ahead and multiply the numerator up top by four as well. And one times four gives us four. So looking at this next question here, we know that our first step is going to be to go ahead and multiply the denominators. And we know that 6 times 3 gives us 18. So we're going to go ahead and write 18 down below because we know that our new denominator is 18. And I had to multiply 6 times 3 in order to get 18. So I have to do the same for the numerator up top. And 4 times 3 gives me 12. And I had to multiply 3 times 6 in order to get 18. So I need to multiply the numerator up top by the same value. And 1 times 6 gives us 6. So I hope this video has helped you to understand how to find a common denominator by multiplying the denominators. Thanks again for watching, and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. As always, enjoy today's math lesson.